brought my gouache palette and three water brushes. And the reason I brought three was just because I didn't bring any water over. And I plan on just working fast and furious. This is some paper that came in a packing or something. And I just thought um, I'd come out here for just a few minutes. It's blazing hot. And I wanted to just kind of work fast and furious. And I didn't have anything to hold the paper down, so I used my shoes. Just using whatever's on my palette. I came out here because the sun went away, and as soon as I walked outside, the sun came out, and it is squeltering. Is that a word? I'm pouring with sweat, and the bugs are eating me alive, so I'm calling this quits. This paper is definitely not meant to be painted on, but that was kind of fun. It's super absorbency. It was a little bit like painting on thick toilet paper. But I just went slosh crazy, and I also ran out of water out of my brushes, like, super fast. Note to self, bring more next time. Let me show you what I did. Oh, well, I was going to show you, but because of the dapple light, you can't see anything. All right, I'll have to take out in the sun. I think I need to get indoors because the bugs. Bye, pond. Okay, here's what I did. It is anything but a masterpiece. But what it was, was super fun for however long I was out here, which was really quick. Slop, slop, slop. And then I'm just going to roll it up. It's really, this is nothing I'm even going to reference, but there it is. And let me show you my surroundings. There's the pond behind me, the dock. Oh, I'm out of breath because I'm so hot. There are my clouds that are supposed to be protecting me. <laughs> and there's our house. And... There's the path that leads home, and there's the path that leads around the pond. Okay, and do y'all see now what I see? I literally just got back to the house, and bye-bye sun, here comes clouds, and I'm done painting. Mm. So that's where I came from. There's the pond. Okay, let me show you this, it's so funny. Okay, here's our rose, our rose bush. Do you see these things? These are from us grooming Coop the other day. And his fur is all in this rose bush. Oh, and look, it's down there too. Whoops. <laughs> Real life. I wanted to show you a bunch of sketches that I did to prepare for working on a big canvas. I was really inspired by going out to the pond and doing those really bad sketches. And I came in over a couple of days did some really quick loose sketches mainly with my neocolor water soluble crayon things i would put it down i'd have a thing of water put my finger in it and smear it with several of these sketches that i'm about to show you i will break off part of the wax pastel and use the side of it at first i felt a little nervous about it because they are really expensive and nice but they work really well on the edge you know just using the side so i've been doing that what's super nice about this kind of process whether you're using these wax pastels or color pencil if you will let this layer dry completely then you can go back over it in a really wonderful way and kind of create a watercolor effect where you have layers that are translucent. I've really been enjoying it and I think you'll see how it works when you see these sketches that I've done. But I loved how they turned out and I loved all the layering. So I wanted to show these to you. I did so many of them and just layered and layered and smeared and played and played with composition and color. I tried to just not overthink things and as soon as it got to a place where I kind of liked it, I just stopped and started another one. It's interesting revisiting these. I haven't looked at these in a while, but like my eye goes to this little pop of orange right here, and I love that. Let's see, 
I think that's it for this sketchbook. Let me go grab another one. What I did was just have a bunch of my sketchbooks all out and I would do one layer and as that was drying, I would grab another one and do another layer. I came across a new artist, Idris Murphy, and I loved his work. And that's what inspired me at first to do some of these. And I looked at some of his paintings and played around with this technique of smushing my neo colors around. And I also tried to make sure that I was not getting stuck with color. So like all this is actually just bushes and bramble and stuff in the back, you know, around our pond. But I tried to remember like I don't have to stay with green. So I was playing with all different colors. I think this one's done with paint, it looks like. These were really nice to do because if I just had a few minutes, I could come in here and get at least one layer in. I was really inspired by Idris's trees and his use of looking at the landscape but then making it kind of abstract. That may be it for this sketchbook. Yeah, let me go grab one more. I think I only did one in this sketchbook. Let's see. I do have this. This wasn't in that series, but I can't remember if I showed this to you. This is our view from our window. I love how this painting turned out. I feel like maybe I already showed y'all this one, but there was a cloud one day hanging over the mountain back there and our yellow field, and I just loved it. Okay, let's get back to this because this is what we came here for. <laughs> Sorry, tangents. Yeah, just another one where I'm trying to just play with texture and color and get a little more simplified. I think in some of these, I feel like I shared some of these maybe on Instagram and we have a dock that I keep putting in, but people commented, they thought, I think that people thought that was an animal because it had legs. I think people were saying stuff like, I like the horse. <laughs> okay, let me go check the other sketchbooks. I feel like I have some more. Okay, oh look, this doesn't even fit in the scene. Okay, I did these in my ginormo sketchbook, but um, this was supposed to be just the base layer, and then I was gonna go back and do more layers, and then I got bored with it and just never did. And they're fun, I think they're fun the way they are. They're kind of just little abstract pieces, but that's not what I meant to do, but I do like this one especially. It definitely has like the pond feel about it. And that's all that I could find. Let me see if I did any more in here. No. We're back up here on the stool. So that's a little bit of the process that I went through as I was inspired by our pond and our property and then just wanted to play using a different medium, using a different method and just working it out. That's what's so wonderful about a sketchbook. Now I have all these references to look back and get inspired and think about color when I get kind of stuck on color or composition. I can look back at all these and pluck things from them because now I want to start working on a really large painting. I can't tell you how excited I've been wanting to go big for quite a while. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prep a canvas, which is going to be quite tedious, I think. And we're just going to jump into it. And I cannot wait. All right, let's go do it.
do you see what I see? Besides lamps that don't have lampshades and, you know, stuff. I don't know. My ginormo canvas. Got it gessoed. And here's what I decided to do. I mean, I don't have a big enough space anywhere in my studio to do such a large painting. And I also have not ordered stretcher bars yet. But I thought I would probably enjoy um, painting on a firm surface. But basically, this is a wall that I've been using to, ugh, I'm out of breath because I've been putting that big boy up. I've been hanging some of my paintings here, so when I'm in the studio, I can have a, a shot view of them and to assess. And so I thought, how can I get this up here without putting a ton of holes in the wall? So I, I'm gonna see if this stays. The good thing about painting an acrylic is if it does fall like during the night, I mean, it will scare the dog. Uh, it will scare Cooper to death. Or if like when we're out of town, I'm noticing this big wrinkle right here that's gonna kind of drive me crazy. I didn't get it exactly centered. But okay, what I was saying was if it does fall like while we're out of town or something, it will be dry. And though that won't be like great to deal with, it won't be, you know, paint all over the floor. I have not decided what I'm gonna do yet about the floor. I was thinking I would take this map that I have. I stand on this. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm just going to do. But that still won't cover the whole floor, I don't think. I may take this in there. That way I can catch the paint because it's not a big deal to me if the paint gets on the floor in here. Or maybe I'll put a rug here. I don't know. I've got to, I still have to figure that out. You would think, oh, just throw a sheet down or something. But I would be tripping on it. Cooper would be laying on it. Yada, yada, yada. This is going to be good too because then I can step back and assess things but I want to just start slopping paint on I'm wondering should I take the time to center it so there's not that big wrinkle or what to do what to do what to do okay I decided to do it like to move it over and it's laying a lot flatter I knew that that was going to bug me to death that wrinkle and the likelihood of me getting paint on the trim or the floor is pretty high but I don't know there's part of me that's like we can live here till I die. And it's kind of like, hey, an artist lives here. You know, who knows? When we sell this house, they may bowl it down and build a condos or something out here or big subdivisions. So I just don't really want to worry too much about the floors and getting paint on stuff because I just live here. I want to just live here. We own the house. We built the house. And it is what it is. So I'm going to try to not let that keep me from slinging paint. Would it be nice to have a studio, a bigger studio where I could do that? Yes, but I don't, so I'm gonna make do. But that was a good, that was a good change, a good decision. Now, the next thing to do is to have a good self-talk, get in there sandy, just sloshing, get to sloshing on paint. Let's not worry about things. Let's realize that there's part of me that's like, Oh no, I hope it doesn't start turning out good fast. I need to set y'all down. Like I don't want it to start like at first be like, oh, that's going good because I want to, you know, work the layers in, but then there's part of me that also doesn't want to stay in like uh, land for too long. Do you know what uh, land is? If you've been watching this channel long enough, you know. So I do have to decide a little bit on composition. I think I'm gonna look through all my sketches and figure out the composition I want to do that I like best. You guys over on Instagram stories narrowed it down to two. That's what I kept hearing about two that you really liked. Those were my favorites too. So I think I'm gonna look at those. And I started doing more sketches, but I think I need to stop because if you know me very well at all, what can happen is I can get bored. And I don't want to get bored before I do this big one. So I'm gonna go do that. Start splashing on some paint. Okay, I wanted to mention this too. Another reason I picked this spot is because the light that comes in to the left of me, because I'm right-handed, and so you want the sunlight coming in to the left, because if not, like let's say I'm left-handed and the light is coming from this way, then it places a shadow. Oh, look, see, uh-huh, you can see really good. But here I am right-handed, no shadow. Well, there is a shadow right there, but I would be painting like this, blah, blah, blah. Are y'all like Captain Obvious? I don't know. I told a friend of mine that one time and she was like, I never thought of that. There you go. Maybe you hadn't thought of that either. All right. I got to get busy. Okay. I figured I better document all the professionalness that's going on besides 
this. I was like, oh great, now I've got to have a table. And this is kind of a narrow space through here. And Cooper's always flopping around on the things. So I think what I'm going to do is use this ironing board. And I set it up right here. It's old, uh, but it's narrow. And then look, it comes like to the perfect height of that. So I think this will be fine. I'm going to try it. I mean, why not? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Here's the setup, the new setup. I brought this in. That's from the studio, squishy mat. I put some clear plastic. I mean, there's so much professional-ish going on here that I can barely handle it. Then I'm gonna pull the ironing board right here. I'm glad we don't have anybody like coming to visit us. <laughs> I also can't wait to see Grady's face when he walks in here. This could give him the idea of building a new studio. Oh, well, you may do. Oh, he's listening to me. <laughs> I can't wait for Gracie to come see this setup that I'm doing. And then maybe you'll build me a big studio. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> like, and then I'm going to use, I think this works. And then I was like, I need a table. So I'm going to use the ironing board. That's good. And pull it right here. Yeah, that'll save me a lot of money. For what? I won't have to buy another studio. <laughs> came to grab the camera because I've barely gotten started and I've already gotten paint all over the wall in a couple different places. I mean, I guess it's just going to be part of the, ex the studio, extension of the studio. I have thought about turning this whole room into part of my studio and moving our den into one of the bedrooms, but right now we're going to keep it like this. Hmm. Here's where I am so far. <laughs> the ironing board. Uh, and then I was just doing psh, 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 and swooshed up there and then I had it all dripping down this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it just on. Oh, I was about to say, oh, I should turn the lights on, but the lights are on. It's dark in here. I guess I should get some shades for these lamps so I can turn them on. But this natural light is nice. I'm liking this. All right, I'm going to get back to it. Just wanted to document. Let's see what this looks like from here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've just barely started, so, you know. Okay, I'm standing in the studio doorway, but can you see why it's so nice to be able to like stand back? Guys, I'm dying over how fun this is to paint big. I have already gotten, you know, paint on the wall, blah, blah, blah. I'm using the cat scratch to hold things, the couch. I mean, paint is probably, okay, all the cushion, the pillows are off this because the cats get up here and stuff, but I've been laying stuff out here. Guys, I'm probably gonna have paint all over everything. Oh well, an artist lives here, right? I'm also finding it very interesting how I do not feel like I'm struggling for light. The way this light comes in, it is perfect. Because right now this room is kind of dark, even though all the lights are on, but I'm not struggling to see at all. It's wonderful. Definitely gives me some insight if I ever like build another studio. There it is. I'm trying to, you know, think of it as a very, 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 very large sketchbook page. <gasps> it's so fun. I mean, it is fun. I cannot believe that Cooper has not come in here. He's really tired. He's been sick, poor guy. Uh, and he's been up all night. He just paces around all night, which means we've not been getting much sleep either. But I'm gonna clean up for lunch. I'm really happy with how we're going. It's just so fun. It's so, 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 so fun. <sighs> okay, enough of that. Y'all are probably like, mm. okay, I'm gonna clean up, go to lunch, <sighs> have coffee, I'm happy. Anybody else using their ironing board as a table? Oh well, yeah. You do what you gotta do. You make do. That should be a really good lesson. If you don't have this, you don't have a big studio, you don't have, well, get the ironing board out, set up your own studio, wherever. I probably should ask Granny about this first, <laughs> as much about the painting as, is it okay if I ruin our dining room, I mean our den? Oh well, he'll be fine with it. Well, here we are so far. Sorry I've not filmed me working on this. I feel like I just kind of need to concentrate and get in the zone, but this is where I am. I'm just taking my time layering and getting big shapes and finding my way through it, and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, let me give you probably the last view of the day. I'm gonna continue painting tonight, or I think I am, but it's starting to get cloudy out and it's getting a lot darker in here. So let me just show you where I am. Definitely still have a long, 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 long way to go. 
but I am having so much stinking fun. Just, I'm at still at that stage where I don't really care and I'm just swapping on stuff and it's just really fun. I hate that stage though when, I love it when it's in the stage of just like, we're just having fun. We're trying to get some paint on there, some color, let's play. I hate when it starts getting where it's like, oh, I'm kind of liking this. It's always just this put in, take out, put in, take out. So I'm kind of figuring out the color composition and, but I'm having fun. Oh, it's so fun. I wanted to show you where I've gotten with this. It's not very far. I worked and worked and worked on it. And then I think we went on a camping trip and uh, I just haven't picked the paintbrush back up yet, but I do love how it's coming. I am wondering, does this look like an animal? Like so many people have commented on other sketches that I've done of the pond. They think this is like a horse or something. So maybe I need to put like the handle. There's like a railing. I don't know, I kind of like the simple shape. Maybe I don't need to worry about if people think it's a weird something. Cause I do want this to be kind of abstract, but then also I still want it to read as a pond and a dock. So I don't know. One of the things that I'm really enjoying about the fact that I haven't picked this back up is I'm feeling less precious about it and I'm feeling a little somewhat over it. So I do feel like I can jump in at some point and not feel precious and just get into it. I've got another big, not this big, but another big painting that I'm working on right now that's in the dining room. I've taken over the dining room. So I've taken over my studio, part of the den, and now the dining room. When you need more space, that's what you do. So I think when I finish that larger painting, which is a still life, I'm hoping to get back into this. That's what's kind of bad for me when I take a break. It's good in some ways if enough time passes and I can get over the preciousness of it, but then sometimes it's hard to get back in. What I'll have to do is when I get back in is just go for the areas that I know need fixing. And I'm also kind of getting bored with it, which tells me, I mean, if I'm going to put this up on my mantle, I want it to be interesting. So that definitely tells me it needs more work. Sorry, I was kind of hoping I was gonna have like a finished painting for you guys and I just don't. So here we are once again at the end of another video where I do not have a finished painting for you guys. I don't, sorry, I hope that's okay. Anyways, this was quite the process. This was over probably a couple months and I wanted to share it with you even though this isn't finished, but I think that's okay, right? I mean, that's real life and that's what this channel is, bits of an artist's life, and that's what this artist's life looks like, taking a long time to finish big paintings or not finishing a painting at all. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you back here next week. Bye. I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed it so much. See ya. Bye. Love you guys. So thankful for you. <laughs>